Okay, in this video we want to look at a statement that can be proven using the principle of mathematical induction. So the statement that we want to look at here is the following. So our claim is that for all natural numbers n, we have 3 divides 5 to the 2n minus 1. Okay, good. So let's get into the proof. Like I said, we're using the principle of mathematical induction. So the first step for principle of mathematical induction type proofs is the base case. So following that outline, we want to check the case when n equals 1. And here we notice that 5 to the 2 times 1 minus 1 equals 25 minus 1, which equals 24, which equals 3 times 8. So, 3 indeed does divide 24, which can be written as 5 to the 2 times 1 minus 1. So our base case is satisfied, which sets up our whole induction argument. Now, let's make an induction hypothesis. So let's uh, suppose that for some k bigger than or equal to 1, um, we have 3 divides 5 to the 2k minus 1. Good. So that's our induction hypothesis. So now moving on to the k plus first step, we'll consider the following. So we'll consider 5 to the 2k plus 1 minus 1. Good. Which we can write as... 5 to the 2k times 5 squared minus 1. And there's a little bit of a trick which we need to use here, and that trick is to add 0. So we'll add 0 in a special form. We'll add 0 in the form 5 to the 2k times 5 squared, and then minus 5 squared plus 5 squared minus 1. So notice, this bit that we've added here is just zero, so we haven't changed this number at all. Now, we notice that the first two terms have a common factor of five squared, so we can factor that out. Five squared times five to the two k minus one. And the second two terms, we can write as five squared minus one. Okay, great. And then, <coughs> This 5 to the 2k minus 1, we know that 3 divides 5 to the 2k minus 1, which means we can write this as 5 squared times 3 to the 3 times m for some m using the induction hypothesis plus, and then from the base case, we see that 5 squared minus 1 is 24, which is 3 times 8. Okay, good. And then the next thing that we can do is factor a 3 out of this. And I should point here, we used the induction hypothesis. Good. Maybe we can star that to see exactly where that came from. Fantastic. Keeping in mind that this is equivalent to 5 to the 2k minus 1 equals 3 times m for some integer m. Okay, great. Now we can factor a 3 out of this whole term. So that gives us 3 times. Now what's left? We have uh, 5 squared times m. So we have 25m plus 8. So 25m plus 8. Good. Now, I'm about out of room, but I'll erase this bit and then uh, finish it off. Okay, so we ended at this step where we have 5 to the 2 times k plus 1 minus 1 equals 
3 times 25m plus 8, but that's just equal to 3 times m prime, where m prime is uh, that combination right there. So what we have is we have 5 to the 2k plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 3 times some integer from which it follows that 3 divides 5 to the 2k plus 1. Um, which finishes our proof. So, <clears throat> 3 divides 5 to the 2n minus 1 for all natural numbers n, which we've proven.